Good kitten internet! I know it has been a really long time since I've recorded one of these. I apologize. The past month has been really freaking busy for me. And um, to give you an idea, it is currently um, 1531, so 330 p.m. here. This is the first point during the day that I have not had something. This is the first game that I have played today. In fact, I have been playing a little bit of any type of game overall, and that's about it. But what I want to do, hopefully the audio is fine. I'm a village deep within the mountains. Seems to have weather all on its own, which is oddly warm. But looks desolate somehow. As if it lacks life or something? This is the location inscribed on the ring. Apologies for my accents being even further off than normal. I have no doubt. Well, in any case, Neil and I, what's wrong? It feels strange. First time I've been here, and yet I feel like I've known this place. Uh, what? Okay. So, we're not going to be doing any more plot today beyond what you just saw. Because I actually entered the wrong village. I meant to go back to the previous one, and, well, it's been a month since I've touched this. So, what we're actually going to be doing today is doing some trials. Ooh, wow, we are almost at 99999 gold. Interesting. I guess we should see if there's any, like, Upgrading items first. Let's go to the shop. We already have great swords. We have great arrows. We have wizard wand or better. Okay, what about armor? Steel mask? Okay, it looks like that we haven't actually had an upgrade on anything. So... I guess we're not doing any item shop stuff. We're just going to go straight into some Trials of Torora. Um, so many notifications today. It's been ridiculous. One moment, I need to check to see if this is important. It was important. See what I mean? This has been my yeah, life for the past three months. <sighs> All right, let's unpause. A little on the loud side from my side. I'm using my headphones now that I know how to properly control this to make it the audio quality not terrible. Um, so we're doing some trials because we haven't done any trials yet and I didn't want to get back into the plot right now because I'm a little discombobulated as are the rest of you because it's been a while since we've done anything dealing with the plot. So we've done that little bit of an intro, but now we're going to do some trials and in a later video, we'll actually get back to the plot, but that'll be recorded another day. First, let's bring out a key. So we're going to do the first of the trials, which is the Nova key. We need to put this in somebody's inventory. That is the requirement. I don't remember if it has to be specifically Ash's inventory. Uh, one way to find out. It'll be really obvious if it is. How are you? It's been a while since I've talked to you. Nope, it has to be Ash's inventory. Okay, not a problem. Um, yeah, so I have... Let's see, the last time was before I left for Norway. I was trying to record a bunch of these videos until I had that hiccup dealing with the... Um, getting the last of the keys. So, this is... It's been a while. All right, ash, high herb, garden wagon, plant, nova key, ash, wagon, item, high herb, plant. There we go. It'd be much easier if it just let me swap. So after I came back from Norway, I had about a week before I was heading out again for Thanksgiving or Friendsgiving. So I've barely been home. Uh, today is Wednesday. And during that week, I actually did record a YouTube video, but it's still pending my partner watching it. Uh, there's a good reason why my partner needs to see it and approve it before I let it go live. 
So we're going to go ahead and go into the dojo. And immediately leave the dojo. Hold for a moment. Is that one of the holy keys that you have? Those are only to be held by the chosen. I know I said that backwards, but whatever. Do you wish to undergo the trials of Terora? Yes. Time to transform. Then may your soul be sent to the spirit world for judgment. And yes, I know I've shown the beginning part of this before. Fare thee well. Because I briefly showed you what it looked like. But now we're actually going to do it. Now that we have the full complement party. And we're higher level. I don't know if I've done this at such a high level before. So this might be interesting. So you will notice that these are much higher level characters than normal for their... What they are. I mean, that's a level 22 goblin. Um, one thing to note is that uh, mages and archers are nerfed when it comes to battles like this, which is to say that these archers will have a shorter range than a higher level or a more recent enemy that we've encountered. So like the Grenadiers, for instance, would have a... Um, darn it, I'm getting more email from this. Uh, okay, I don't need to pay attention to that. Sweet. Um, these will have a shorter range than a Grenadier, even though they could be both level 22. Not so much when it comes to the soldiers or golems. I don't think there's any significant difference. Uh, they have crappier weapons. That might be a significant difference. So our goal is to actually open that up. The secondary goal is um, defeating all enemies. If we don't open that up, the trial is worthless. Now here's the problem. This is an elevation based trial. And my phone is ringing. Are you kidding me? All day. That is the 10th phone call I've had today. And the last two have been wrong number slash spam. I'm not answering them, so I actually don't know which one's which. So the main thing we want to do is make sure that our flyers are right next to cliff sides, at least up until we're at the top. So my plan is to basically start setting up up here and hope that they start coming up. That way I have height advantage over them. Um, that's one advantage of waiting until after being promoted is that I have faster movement than compared to before. Much faster in some characters' case. Um, there are no hidden items on these battles. We don't have to worry about that. Or I should say, sort of no hidden items. Um, ooh, your range is still terrible. Mostly going up this side, I think. I'm just swapping sides just for the benefit of not having a clump of people all on one side. There we go. And that's everybody. Next turn. <sighs> so yeah, I am constantly getting phone calls. I am constantly getting phone screens. I'm not getting as many interviews as I had been. I just came off of one interview, but most of this have... I wonder if they have this... I don't think these Sparkies have the script where they die in one hit, unfortunately. Actually, we should be able to tell the difference between the Sparky and the War Ghost when it comes to equipment, because the War Ghost has equipment and the Sparky doesn't. So if it is equipment doesn't level up properly, the Sparkies should be significantly stronger than the War Ghosts. Sorry, I'm very easily distracted right now. Oops. So, you have 111 attack, 87 defense, 84 agility. 111 attack, 87... Oh, they don't have equipment. Drat. They're identical. That doesn't help me at all. Anyway. Um, sorry. What was I saying? Oh, right. Interview crap. Um, sorry, my brain is fried from all of this. It's been ridiculous. Um, right. So I've had a huge number of job screens and very little interviews. And I think the reason why is that HR people are on vacation for the rest of the year. 
Uh, it's something that I was reading about when it came to publishers in the writing industry today, that they basically just take off between now and February and stop responding to anything. That seems to be the case when it comes to HR people. And obviously, it's not everyone. I have had some contact. But, for instance, the two jobs that I am currently, I would say, intermediary to late stages of the interview process on have been dead silent. I have not said a word since the week before Thanksgiving. It's disconcerting. Because the last time this happened, there was a dead silence, and then I received the thank you for applying email, and we've gone a different direction, with no indications of what happened. I hate applying for jobs, by the way. It is a demoralizing and sad experience for me. I suppose I could probably just pause this until I was all the way up, but I'm going to have to deal with those sparkies pretty quick. And the war ghosts. That part's going to be annoying. Because those will crest the hill before I get there. Everybody else won't. Actually, they won't crest before my flyers get there, but my flyers aren't the only characters. Oh yeah, how far are they getting next turn? Okay, they're only getting up to here. So, they're getting to roughly the equivalent spots I'm at. Except that there's more of them. Also, you'll notice that they are all Ashes level, and Ashes level 22, which is on the lower end of our party right now. Yeah, Ashes 22, whereas Huxley's 24. Speaking of, I could probably have Huxley start trying to XP grind. Why not? No XP gain. Oh, right. You don't gain XP on trials. That's right. I remember now. Sorry, it's been a while. Long while for trials. You'll notice that my archers are being deployed where they can theoretically shoot up. Whereas the other units are being deployed where they're up against the wall for the most part. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, Dolan's probably not going to be doing much this battle. I mean, look how little he can move. I would be shocked if he even gets a swing in this battle, which is sad because he would actually be really helpful. So those four are going to be in range of our flyers next turn. We need to be a little careful, but not necessarily super careful, if that makes sense. What can you hit right... Oh, you were actually able to hit last round! I didn't realize that. Whoops. Um... Alright, which of you have the longer reach? You can get up to the crest, and that's it. You can get up to the crest, and not quite as well. Same. Okay. You need to be where Clint is standing. Or you need to be here. There we go. I... Of course, I don't know if those Sparkies are set for one-shot bait. Okay, you need to be on that row. Like here. Bonk. Wait, I can actually avalanche the... No, I can't, okay. But I can avalanche a war ghost. 
You look tasty. Let's go. I've definitely never used this powerful of magic on this battle. Usually I don't even have this number of characters. Oh, if I had another mage over there, I could do something about that, but I kind of don't. I think there's Hux. I don't think I can reach with a Holy Lightning. Nope. If I was one hex closer, if I was standing there, I can pull it off, but alas. Yep, Sarah's going to be the one to pop the chest. Bonk. That is what we are here for. It is the Nova Prism. Can you re reach anything with your avalanche? No. No, you can't. Can you even reach anything with, like, Phase Shift? I don't think you can. Nope. Alright, you get to rest this turn. Oh, what do I want to do with the fly? Well, might as well move Dolan up. Oh, poor Dolan. Um... Yeah, you're not actually cresting anything this turn. I don't want to keep the flyers hidden behind the wall, so I think I'm actually just going to keep them where they are. Because there are archers down there, and the archers can shoot up just like we did. Not that they're going to this turn, but they could. Yep, you're on the ridge now. You're there. Interesting. Okay. Okay. These goobers, I don't really care. Nothing's giving us XP anyway, so it's kind of irrelevant as to what order we kill things in. Now, can you... hit from here? No, I need to be slightly closer. Can you hit at all? Yes, you can. Bye! Tonk! You are aligned there. Eh. Not the greatest, not the worst. Oh, they're actually defending themselves. Okay. Fine. Can I align here? They're actually being blocked by the walls. I can hit a pirate soldier on the side. And that's probably about it, so might as well. Bonk. Aww. I has a sad. Also, I don't have a kitty here. This is unfortunate. Okay. Where can you reach? You can get to... You can't even hit me! You are kind of worthless, aren't you? Well, if I would have known, I still would have done the same thing. Honestly. But, we're gonna have Eel and I mess things up. I can hit three of them. What about with Roman fire? I can hit four of them with Roman fire. Yes. Everybody's favorite slow down inducing spell. Roman fire, everybody. Oh, the garbage damage. So apparently levels increase resistance to magic. Good to know. Even hit them, can I? Can I hit them with a phase shift? I can hit three of them with phase shift. Can 
Yeah, the best I can do is hit three of them with Fit Shift. That only hits two of them, so I actually do have to move here. That hits three. Let's go Phase Shift. Ah, phase Shift time. Watch your eyes. I still haven't heard any confirmation that anybody else got seasick from that. I'm just getting so low on that spell. I feel so bad. They don't have any good spells. I don't want to bring the flyers out yet. I actually kind of want them to come up to me. Yeah, I guess we'll do like that. We'll check this. But it's congregating toward the middle. You fly up there, cool. Now a phase shift would have been nice. Oh well, I'm still gonna do it. But first, I need to deal with that goober. Ah, oh, it's still one-shotted. So, can't tell you if they were actually... Um, messed up by that or not. Um, let's see. How many can I hit with a phase shift from here? Two! I need to get closer. Which means you all need to actually start moving down. Yes, that means that they're going to become pin cushions a bit, but that's okay. They'll survive. But before I do that, Kira, you are okay. You're not going to be interfered that way. All right. Now, Eel and I and Hux. Eel and I is definitely better positioned to phase shift or not what I can hit one can I do better on a Roman fire no the stupid height. Ugh. What about if I stand up at a pool? No, it's height. I can't do it. Um, what about if I stood back where I'm at? Can I do any better there? I can get. Two goobers that have barely damaged. <sighs> Annoying. Well, I'm just gonna leave her there for now. I can get one. Zero with Roman fire. What if I were to do the stupid? Stand up here. Can I hit? Nope. What about with phase shift? It's the stupid height. Ah, so disappointing. Fine. You all are just going to move up then. I'd rather get an archer if I can help it. They're all standing where I can't hit them. Oh no, that's just me. Uh, 
around about. So I'm going to move Sarah over to here. Can I hit anybody from here? Yes. Okay. That'll help. So I doubt you can. Oh, well, you definitely can't counterattack if you're dead. Dolan, yeah, just keep moving. You're almost at the point where other people are by me not moving for several turns. Ux. There, I guess. And that'll be it. Okay, the goblins cannot fire. Okay. Their range is that crap. Well, this turn I should have some good... Um, very good, potentially. Okay. If I can't hit them from here, something is wrong. Yeah, I can hit four of them. I can hit four of them. Yeah, I can hit one of the two golems. Which is fine. I don't need to hit both golems. Because everybody else is going to be dead. Uh, I'm going to be doing two phase shifts, so you might as well avert your eyes and keep averting until I'm done. Those will actually still be alive. That's a bit of a waste. Oh well. I have the magic to burn. Let's go. Back in page shift. Alright, page shifts are done. as well. Oh, dang. was not expecting that. I mean, I do have a lot of height. That's probably why. Well, might as well continue picking them off. This is... Oh, let's say this is definitely an archer's paradise right now. going to plop them on each of the corners. Start moving other people over to the corners. The reason for the corners is for the archers. Uh, Sarah can even reach the other corner. No, but you can reach over here. Um, I don't necessarily want you to do that, actually. Only charge, but it's kind of irrelevant. Um, actually, I am going to have you Mystic Shield. Our pin cushions. Looks like a spider that's flying as um, Immun's Shadow. Just spider, 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 spider. Anyway. You can perfect guard Zohar. He's standing along the side, so I'm a little more concerned about him. I have plenty of MP. I'm not concerned about that. I haven't even been hit yet. You're moving up one. You're moving up one. Dolan's the only one left that hasn't moved. Go ahead and start moving up Dolan. You can almost reach combat. All right. Archer's the only things that I'm mildly concerned about, and they're being idiots. Okay. This is gonna be a turkey shoot. Because nobody gives XP anyway.
Wipe out all three archers. Goodbye, archer one. You're damaged. Goodbye, archer two. Goodbye, archer three. All right, now this is just gratuitous. I kind of don't want to face shift. Oh, I can't hit them. Wait, why can't I hit them? I have direct line of sight. Can I even face shift from over here or is that gonna be too far away due to height? Yeah, that's too far away. What about good old Roman five? No. Damn it, I actually have to stand up here? Are you kidding me? There. I at least want to damage them some more. So when I do get into hand-to-hand -hand combat, it's not a big deal. Besides, I'm helping. How do I not have the ability to hit you? How? Do you have the ability to attack? Or am I just... Okay, I can't use archers here. Cool. Well, we might as well start bringing in flyers now. actually stronger. Uh, 109, 118, 110, 121. All right. So, Grog, you're going to stand here. Ash. Oh, Ash can't even reach. Well, oh well. I would have done that differently otherwise. Too late. Archers, move into a position that you don't suck at. Clint, you are going to stand here and look pretty, as usual. Kira, move over to there. I keep forgetting what direction rotate button is. Uh, Darius, you can go there. you actually have with anything? Yeah, I didn't think so. Perfect guard Ash, because I can. And Ash is going to get attacked. Although I probably should have done it to Clint, now that I think about it, because I think Clint can get hit more than once. Well, I'll just give Clint a death up. If I can reach. Nope. Can't reach. Well, you're boned, Clint. It'll be fine. Dolan is almost at the cliff. All right, so Clint's position is just annoying. They're going to go after Ash instead. Okay. Bonk. So I have perfect guard on, sucker. That counts as support up there? Okay, well... Might as well just sit like this then, because they're gonna slay themselves. Ooh, I finally got damage on me. This has been a 34 minute video. And I am done. You win! Bloop, 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 bloop. Do you notice I'm only getting 10 gold each? It's because they count as level one. But we have completed a trial. That was by far the easiest trial. Um, well, sort of. There's one trial that's a little weirder. You have returned with one of the prisms which holds the soul of Torara. Torara? Not sure what they were going for on that one. 
you have taken one more step on the path of enlightenment. We will keep this key for the next traveler who seeks the path. Always keep the faith. And that's it. I'm going to go ahead and save. I don't remember if I backed up these saves, so I'm going to save in the other memory card. Hope you've enjoyed this internet. Um, I'm probably going to release the trials pretty quickly, one after the other, since there's no plot involved, and I know some people are in it for the plot. And uh, I can might be able to record one more. I'll go ahead and stop and start. Bye, internet!